Good Thursday morning, Northern Michigan. Believe it or not, we are about a couple weeks out for the big Relay for Life in Grand Traverse County that goes on every year. It's the big 24-hour cancer walk. All the money goes to the American Cancer Society that is raised during the walk. I want to introduce Diane DeNoyer, familiar face with Relay for Life Grand Traverse. Good to see you, Diane. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Uh, I wanted to start out by talking about uh, people who still want to sign up for Relay. The, it's a time to get online and create those teams if you want to do so. Absolutely. It's never too late to join Relay for life. Okay. Even the day of, um, there is a website that I'll go ahead and give to you sure. and um, so that the viewers can go on. You can go in, register online, and you can join a team. You can form a team if you are friends and family or a business. Um, please just gather, you know, a few people. It is a 24-hour event that we do encourage people to be on the track the whole 24 hours, but if that's something that you guys can't do, just designate an hour that you will walk um, together as a group. So um, the event starts at 10 o'clock on June 7th, and at noon we will celebrate our survivors with um, a ceremony recognizing the years that they've been um, surviving cancer. I love that part of it, recognizing those who, who beat this disease. Absolutely, and just remember, and that this is a, a little stigma that most people don't understand is, once you have heard the words, you have cancer, you are a survivor from that moment on. So it, you don't have to have been in remission or had surgeries or reconstructions. It is as soon as you receive those words. So we encourage them to be a part of our survivor ceremony. And, and what's also so great too is that, you know, it's the 24 hour walk. All of the money does go to the American Cancer Society. And, you know, it's a nice family event. People are out there um, in memory of those who who did not survive cancer, but still their memory goes on. There's a beautiful ceremony uh, towards the end on Saturday, which I just love. And it's it's so nice because every every type of cancer is covered there, it is represented. That is correct. And, the, and you have a team too that you'll be there with. I do, um, my team is Double D and Dexter, and um, we are a friends and family, I call it a strangers team because we do um, encourage just people off the street that we meet that are not a pair, mm -hmm. part of a relay team to join us. And um, we kind of mentor you through and then hopefully next year you'll have a team of your own. It's fantastic. So. I, I actually have a team, I'm gonna be Melissa's Walkers. My mom comes every year. She's a yes. colon cancer survivor and thyroid cancer survivor now. So she's gonna be there It's and it's fantastic. And you just, you feel so good there knowing that you are taking part in something, having an impact. That is correct. 6,000 relays across the United States will be participating in this um, particular fundraiser, all made up by volunteers. And you for also one have cost. some really big news that I want you to mention that you just found out yesterday. Yes, um, I had been invited to um, Tacoma, Washington, which is the um, first relay had been held in 1985 by Dr. Gordy Klatt. And um, I had been invited in July to attend and last night decided that um, it was an opportunity I just can't miss. It's part of my bucket list. Amazing. I'm so, so happy for you. Thank you. Wonderful. Well, again, Relay for Life, Grand Traverse County, June 7th. It is the big 24-hour walk at the Grand Traverse County Civic Center. All the information will be posted on our website, upnorthlife.com, if you would like more details. Diane, as always, good to see you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.